Meet Ford's missing piece. Since the demise of the Ford Territory in late 2016, the Blue Oval has been missing a large family SUV. Instead, relying on the Ranger-based Everest to fill the gap. Now comes this, the Endura. It's a five-seater, so it doesn't exactly fill the void of the Territory, as it can't be had with seven seats, but it is bigger than the Escape and more refined than the Everest. So it's an important new model for the brand. While it may not be a seven-seater, it's certainly a spacious SUV for a family of five. There's good room front and back for passengers. It's a nicely presented cabin, but it lacks any real wow factor. However, the layout is intuitive and there's good small item storage. The ST line model we're testing here features a mixture of suede and leather interior trim to give it a premium touch. The benefit of skipping seven seats is a huge boot measuring up to 800 litres, so you can load it full of gear for the family holidays. Under the bonnet is a two litre four cylinder turbo diesel engine mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. While good for 140 kilowatts of power and 400 newton meters of torque on paper, in the real world, it struggles to motivate such a large SUV. The eight speeder helps it feel good off the mark, but it quickly runs out of puff when you get it going. That's because peak torque is only available between two and 3,000 revs, so it feels weak in the mid range. Fuel economy is rated at 6.7 liters per 100 Ks, even as an all wheel drive, which is a good claim, but not easy to achieve in the real world. It's a nice SUV to drive though, with responsive handling thanks to taut suspension that provides good body control. Ford is offering a three tier Enduro lineup, starting at 44,990 for the trend. The ST line seen here starts at 53,990, and the Titanium tops the range at 67,990. The arrival of the Enduro fills an important hole in the Ford range. It's not perfect, but it has the kind of space and value that modern families are looking for.